photographs of um, Tanya when she was in the Yep. Oh, you've heard. Who are you? Cameras. Restoration. Oh, yep. Restoration. Yeah, thanks for coming over. I mean, <laughs> you saw it earlier in an earlier yeah. stage, and uh, I suppose there is some meaning in these before and after kind of shots because yeah. lots of things happen, but sometimes you get a fear that an awful lot not hasn't happened. But How did you get involved in this? Um, I had been travelling, as you know, with my camper for a while, and uh, with Kerry connections to my mother, I looked at Kerry for a place after the sale of a family home. Uh, Claire, we lived in, and I lived in Mayo. I lived in Belmont. I lived in Belcarra, uh, Castle Bar, and uh, Westport. Mm -hmm. you know, all and I came on to Spalaka last year to learn the Shannon stance. And by Thursday, I knew this is this is probably going to be the place. So. I embarked on the process search and I worked with Joe Mulligan from Active Properties and Joe led me to this place. Mm -hmm. so. so what's the background of this place? This place, uh, again, my understanding probably dates to this house because there are other properties in the area that are, that are earlier. But for this particular house, it's a 1935 stone cottage, three rooms, there would have been a hallway which I took out, three rooms, and then as a lot of people did, they put on the flat roof extensions for the kitchens and the toilets, and that has that. And immediately, for a lot of people, that would have been a deterrent. Mm. Uh, damp, uh, you know, uh, showing lots of signs of wear and tear. Um, so one had to look beyond that alley and say, well, is there potential? And my eye came to these three rooms. These mm. are the three rooms of the cottage. Very typical, one front door, one window to the right, two windows to the left. That's all over the Western yeah, Island, yeah. particularly here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Fitted my needs. That's a kind of uh, nationwide uh, cottages, wasn't it? Yeah, there must have been a template. Yeah, I think there yeah, were all, all over, yeah. And it's all stone. Yeah, these are exceptionally well built. There's no cement involved in these stones, Ollie, which is the incredible thing. Yeah. Uh, it held up a roof, and um, the mortar in, uh, was done to basically keep out the draft between rooms or from the outside of the house. But the picking of the stones, I've come to realize, they, was an art in itself. When they picked the stones to fit as tightly together as possible, they knew what they were doing. There wasn't much manipulation of the stone. Um, yeah, there's a great example of it here. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh, yeah. That's, very, that's by the doorway. Yeah. And that's a few, almost, I'm going to really leave that revealed because it's such a feature. Um, <laughs> again, it's all stones. So what you're seeing behind me and around is a coat of cement. Uh, plaster, if you want to call it that, is quite dense, hard to remove, and I just didn't want to take on that. There's enough stone, I think, now uh, going to be seen. Maybe if I'd been younger and some time ago, I might have gone after that, yeah, yeah. but not now. I want to get in. Yeah. Uh, so. And do you know who owned this before it? Yeah, the, the, he had a name because there's so many people around this area with the same first names and surnames. Uh, get people in. in, in get to talk to me and they basically said, well, you're living in Johnny Scott's house. Now, Johnny Scott was John McNulty, but Johnny Scott was born in Scotland, and that's how he ended up. So a nickname is not unusual around here. Oh, okay. I'm, just, I'm just waiting for my own nickname to be given uh, to me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <We'll see. yeah. laughs> there could be a few of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> and were you a bit daunting coming in to look at what you faced in the beginning? Because I saw, I saw it in the beginning. Yeah, the, uh, it was initially. I think that's... that's isn't a lot of people talk about that, Ali? That that moment where you know what 
beyond all the work that might need to be required, you kind of have a sense this is the one. Mm. And, I, and I don't want to exaggerate that, but for me, that was the case. I did start out with my first house in Belcara um, some time ago, uh, gosh, a long time ago. And um, so I knew cottages, but this had something special about it. And even to this day, I don't know what that is, but that's okay. I just get a sense here that it's, uh, it's a nice place. And each room had a fire? Each room had fires. We got one behind us where most of the, most of the burning, as you can see by the darkness of the, of the stone, would have occurred. So there would have been two sets of chimneys uh, with shared fireplaces. So two fireplaces back and here and on the back of this wall going up into one, one chimney. chimney one chimney, one chimney. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. when you see from the outside, it looks like it has two fires. In fact, it has four chimney pots. And that's what tells you the amount of fireplaces it actually had. Yeah. Okay. So. And did you get much help with this? Or did you read it up or are you just playing it? So you can do you can do some stuff yourself. Yeah. I think initially you can get going. I hmm. mean, there was a false roof here coming off those supports, uh, Joyce. Hmm. I knew they had to come down, hmm. so I took them down. So, but uh, you met James here and you get lucky sometimes with hmm. one person who can stay with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More than just one job. And he, 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 he seemed to take an interest in the house as well. And... Um, so, uh, yeah, I mixed it up with my own work, which has been quite a lot. And then the, the specialists have to come in, the electricians now, the plumbers, the insulators, they had all this happen. And were you familiar with that before you came down here? Once in my life. Once in your life. Once, Once in my ever. Life, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, in fact, I have a photograph somewhere which I dearly would love to find, pre-digital, 35 millimeter, taken on the lookout mm -hmm. point on the way down to Kim. Oh, okay. 40 years ago, so. And when do you think the house was built? 35. 35. Uh, yeah. In fact, outside the front door, there's an actual plaque. Oh, okay. 1935 on it. So they, for some reason, they marked the, the year of the house. Well, that was nice. It's it, it soon be 100. It Fif will. 15 this years. Is interesting. <laughs> 15 I hope years. I'll be yeah. here to celebrate the Sunday. Well, I'm sure you should. You're, you're a healthy man anyway, and you, and you do the right things. <laughs> but I'm giving myself restoration. Yeah. Well, the best of the country. Yeah, thanks very much. And we call back, back again at the oh, for, for the opening. We'll be down for the opening. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah. a house like this it needs, you know, beyond its stone, same with every house, but particularly these houses, hmm. they need voices is what I call yeah, it. Yeah. They need light, yeah. which means there's somebody at home. Yeah. And on top of that, they need voices. Hmm. They need human voices. So you do a bit of art as well. I do, yeah. 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 And I know we covered the Mayo pen and ink, but I'm glad you asked that because I just announced that I'm going to do a, the, the ACO the ACO series. The series, series actually, yeah. And I, I got your recommendation. I have a few others. Well, well there should be plenty of subject matter down here for, for. All I have to do is to find a place here that I can put my materials out and leave them out yeah. and uh, work work in the evenings on over the winter. So you don't use an easel, no. You use a table. No, I can't find. Yeah, that's a, yeah. People ask that before. Do you draw, you know, like this? Yeah. The problem with a pen and ink, Ollie, is that the nibs at the end with that's no the, refill. It, it, it goes backwards. Goes back onto your hand. <laughs> back onto your so hand. you actually have to have to draw that way or downward. Good. Well, we look forward to that as well. There'll be two events. Yeah, thanks a lot.